Welcome to a new day in Imperium Galactic Survival and at the moment we're sat out in the middle of nowhere because what I want to do in this part is give my new rebuilt hover vehicle a bit of a test run against the Xerax. The idea is, is to come into here maybe take out the supply station I just want to see if I can take down some Xerax patrols just for the fun of it guys. Now if any of you have actually been following the series you'll be aware that I rebuilt this ship in the last part put some extra guns on it and what I've done off camera is given it a little bit of a color scheme so this is the new look for the ship you can see it's green and black and I quite like the green and black combination and I, even though I've only just finished the ship I've got a few ideas because they've got the weaknesses underneath here and what I'm half thinking about is maybe putting another layer of blocks down here dropping the hover engines down so this would give more protection to what's underneath here maybe taking out a few things put some extra fuel tanks in the idea is is maybe to evolve this into a hover tank but we'll see how it goes guys anyway in this part what we're going to be doing is see if we can say hello to the local xerax population not in the territory yet but we must be very close because there's that uh, radiation area there but as far as i know there's nothing in there in the way of Prometheum or anything. Of course, because it's foggy, it's going to make life a little bit more tricky. Right, we're in Zach's territory. Maybe I can see some more of the radioactive area there. Half expecting to run into patrols. There they are. Hello boys. I suppose we can't see them. Oh no, that must be Talon then. Yeah, that's Talon. Ah, lucky I didn't start shooting at them. I must admit, I was expecting to run in patrols as soon as I crossed the border. jump of course we can't see them very well because of the fog there they are you just see them on the horizon there just let the, the turrets take them down oops one of them's getting a, a few shots back at us what is that that's that was a four man patrol. Of course, we're going to loot the bodies. The downside of doing this is that you don't get any XP for killing them. But that's not the optic of the exercise at the moment. I'll probably have a, a bit of an opportunity for that later on. Another one over here. Oh, we've got a drone as well. Lost a body. Has he, has he be rendered already? Okay. In we go. Think. Park was firing up, so I, I'd guess that that's another drone. Him. Yeah, it looks like there's there was two drones defending this base. And we can't afford to be too complacent. There's a, another drone just there. Sorry about the fact we're in the trees. Well, up down here. Nice advantage of that slightly wider apron. Looks like we took a few dings. What the heck are these guys what are you firing at? Oops. He's 
these guys were actually firing at something. Oops. Oops. Interested in this guy first. We can. Well, we'll, we'll get some meat off the dogs as well. Not that I need that much meat. Ripper dogs. I think the other one got away over here. Just repair there. What we need to do now is find this. So there's a patrol over here. Get around so we can see them. Looks like another four man patrol here. Oh, there's a rocket guy there. Wait. Hit him. Oh, walked into that one, didn't I? There's a couple more over here. Sorry, guys. Can't get back in. This is. I've got those two bodies there. Can't see any more. Problem spotting the bodies in the grass. And the other ones were over this way, weren't they? There's one there. Well, we're getting quite a lot of ammunition and other bits and pieces here. Let's see if we can find them. There's another one there. A little bit of cash, some shotgun shells. Anyone else here? We fly up slightly higher, we might be able to see them. Maybe they're on the back side of this hill. Nope. Okay. Let's just fly back this way towards the base. Oh. Got the tank, if nothing else. Just go and loot the tank. Let's actually just drop down a little bit here, guys. Grab that. Let's just get into here. What I'm going to do is just move this over that way. Move it a little bit forward. So that we 
got a, a line of sight here. We're going to leave the thrusters on. Before we do anything. Certainly going to eat that. Drop this into the fridge. And everything else can go in the container controller. We'll have to hang on to the ammunition. Oops. <laughs> I can see you. What I'm going to do is. Oops, I haven't got the jetpack on. It will fail me. Great. I know there's a spawn point up there. Or there should, there might be. Let's go have a quick check because they may have updated it. There he is. There's a spawn point there, but I can't get up to him. So my, he can't see me at the moment. Okay. Ha ha ha, gotcha. Um, can't hit him. But this is why I should really have brought this small vessel. I don't think I can try and jet back up there. No. Not at the moment anyway. Well, we, what we can do is a little bit of looting. So we're just going to grab this container controller. Top rifle. Certainly going to take the cobalt ingots and the solar panels. I've got more cobalt, that's fantastic. Vicar uh, to steel blocks. What we'll probably do is drop some of those into the factory although we're, we're doing okay at the moment I think this is the first time I'm actually going properly inside the building, so... Wow. It's actually been... That says, says 35. <laughs> I got you, sunshine. Is there a spawn point there? I mean, they're, they're appearing here. Who actually spawned then? The second one there? Nope. Just. Pop some of that. Oh, it's this guy came out. Okay, you guys want to play with unfair? Here we go. Let's see if there's anyone else inside. There's a spot, actually, a proper spawn point inside here. Nothing in here, we got some fuel, got some. See if there's anybody upstairs. Right. And there's a turret just in front of us here. A 
is the core. Oops. Ha ha ha, gotcha. You're dead. You have been annoying me. Taking damage, but yeah. right, is there any more of these guys around? Oh. I mean, there's nothing up here. I'm just doing this for the sheer kick of it, guys. Plus, I want to. Oh, we got some uh, some crawlers up here as well. Let's just just pop a couple of these. And then maybe we'll have some fun with the crawlers. Actually, have some real fun with these guys. Need the XP anyway. Oops. Just that a spike. Ah, there's your buddy. Admit, I was hoping for something a bit more here. Maybe there is something buried in here that I can't see. You can have a quick look round. Have a quick look. Nothing down there. Well, we can. And grab some of this stuff as well, just to be going on with. Let's take that out. We, oops, get back to that. Yeah. Oops, a little bit of damage. Make my own entrance here. Well, I mean, I could core it and that. No, I don't think it's really worth. Yeah. Ah, look at that! Nearly missed it, guys. Nearly missed it. We've got an advanced constructor. That could be. No, we can. Take that medium armor. Yeah, there's a hardness still block. So this isn't going to let me. Oh, yeah. We're right up on the maximum of the ship now. Our ship is nearly completely full. Which means that. What we're going to have to do is jump into here. Okay, guys, I'm not totally sure that even with the boost, this ship is going to... Nah, I had a feeling that we wouldn't take off. Uh, break that. Uh, container controller. No, I don't want ammo. What am I on about? Container controller. Arden still blocks. Mm -hmm. 
what we're going to do is find a capital vessel. We actually we got Spanish ship here. Let's just put them all in. Should let me down. My ship is still a little bit heavy. For some reason, I'm a bit lopsided as well. I'm gonna have to. Um, anything else here? Uh, set the panels. Stay thrusters. Oh, I got thrusters. Why can't I get off this wall? Oh, maybe I'm just trapped a little bit against the wall. I think I am overloaded. Ah, it's probably the advanced constructor, isn't it? Let me just... It's probably... where is it? This thing. We don't really need an advanced constructor. Yeah, look at that, see, because... Wow, that's the difference, look. Ah, I wonder if this is to do with the distribution of the weight through the container controllers. What's that say? If I moved it there. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to get rid of that. What happened there? Actually, that's leveled off, isn't it? Because I've taken it out and put it there. My ship is actually leveled off. Well, that's an interesting tip, guys. So maybe I wasn't overloaded. It was just the fact that I was... The ship was unbalanced because of the weight of the advanced constructor. That's fascinating. Let's have a look. That's also interesting as well. The fact that we've ki killed that supply station means we've now got control of this territory. Didn't realize that, that we can do that. So that's now our territory. We have conquered this part of the planet. It's cool. Food's running a bit low. Let me just. Okay, so now I've got that problem sorted out. It's, it's just. This stuff here. Actually, I don't really need to. We're just going to put this in the fridge. We'll eat that. That's going to give me a little bit of a boost. We've got some Xeno substrate here, which is could be a bit of a problem. While we're here, grab some of this natural sweetener. interesting that even though on here it's saying this supply station isn't a Dirac, it's still showing as red I'm gonna, let me just have another go at getting this thing in. Right, let's just pop this into here yeah that's going to be useful I mean I might even build Spanji's short holder hauler Right, we're now running fairly light. Take that off. I mean, is anyone anything else we can visit on the way through here? We've got some resources there. Power station up there. 
maybe in the next part we'll come down and this is a level two supply station although to be honest i think taking out the supply stations they probably need to be attacked and that top level taken out with using the small vessel anyway it's gonna fly through here guys I mean, this is a radioactive area here but I don't think there's gonna be anything of great interest in it we'll just have a quick look over it what are you firing at Oi! Hey! Wonder if the patrols still spawn, even if. They no longer control the area. Wait. Strike one more for the good guys. Wow. That's two. There should be more of them here. There we are. Uh, a couple, couple more rockets. Oh, you can do it. You can do it. Rockets. And we better give this ship a little bit of a once over. We, we did take a little bit of a whack from. It will be. Where's my base gone? Sorry, guys. It'd be interesting to see. Ah, some pentaxi there. We're gonna, we're gonna pick that up because yes. Found another use for raw pentaxi besides using it just to fuel ships, and which is as for making alien thorns. But anyway, let's just get back to the base, guys, and I'll show you that. Right, here we are, we're back at the base. I must admit, I'm really starting to like this base. It's getting a dimension to its own self. What I am thinking about is building a bigger platform out here between the two buildings as a construction area. Let's make it works. One thing I have found with this ship is that because I've got powerful forward thrusters but weak um, reverse thrusters, it can take a little while to actually stop. So I'm just going to take the boost off and the lift off. Because what we need to do is just go in and have a quick heal up. Nice and healed up. Right guys, what I want to talk about now, just to finish this video up, is about the Pentaxid. And it's down in... I think if we make medical here, the alien form, you see where it says alien form, and it says down the bottom there, it says an elemental pentaxide. And if I come across here, you'll see it's this like cubic shaped thing here, and you actually manufacture that in coming to, I think it's that you can do it in the large constructor. If you come here, you can see it there, and this is actually made from raw pentaxide. So if you want to make your own uh, alien form, which is actually a constituent of making, you can see it, if you want to make a health pack, and if as long as you've got pentaxid, you can make alien thorns, and that means you can knock out these health kits. This is what I've done here. And there's a little bit of a tip there, guys. Just, I think that can go in there. That can come back. I don't know why I did it this way, but... Base, rich, food. 
I'm treating salami as raw food because that's a constituent of the what we call it the emergency rations stomach pills that's good for indigestion you don't really need that much supplies wow well. Well, I can go in there well, we can put some of this stuff let's just get some of this stuff out of here oops what am I doing let's construct it out not paying attention Put that in there, put that in there, put that in there. That can go in. Of course, what we're going to have to do hover vehicle, container controller. Hmm, there you go. Got lots of cobalt. Look at that. That's great. Quite heavy weapons upgrade. Hardened steel plates, all these steel plates. I want to keep this available for when I'm out and about. Some more sapium, which is going to be useful. Because we've got magnesium powder. We didn't get that in there, that can go in as well. Not sure where that actually came from. That can go in the fridge. That can go in the fridge. And then all the rest of this can be put forward because the next thing I would really like to make is come in here. Come down here is the deconstructor. I mean, we can unlock it because we're. We can unlock both of these actually. Let's see what we've got. We've got a deconstructor and uh, can probably show better in the if we come in here. What we need for the furnace and we can we can actually make both. Oh that's pretty cool. Cobalt alloy. Okay, so I'm gonna kick off the deconstructor. And what I'll do is, in the next part, we'll be working on the next step in my base because what I want to do is build a furnace deconstructor room as a separate base so that we can power it with solar panels. But that's going to be the next part, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.